quick grocery haul. We actually got back from Croatia yesterday and I needed to go to Morrison's. It's bank holiday weekend, so it's Good Friday today. Kind of the worst time to go shopping. It was so busy and there's actually the shelves were so empty. I went to Morrison's. Um, I'm going to show you what I got. Most of the stuff is for obviously the bank holiday weekend, the next four days, but also you know, whatever lasts through the week as well. And I'll probably do like a midweek shop next week. Um, I'm gonna show you just a couple of items that needs to go straight into the freezer because they're melting. Got some ice cubes. I know I could easily make them, but it's just so handy. And I love having these for smoothies and just drinks. And when it's warm, it's just something good to have. And then I also got vanilla flavor ice cream block. This is good for pudding. I'm gonna just slice it and we're gonna have it with an apple pie. You'll see that in a minute. Uh, and then I got the 18 pack of ice lollies. These were two pounds 80 from Morrison's, which I thought was really good. It's got a good variety there. I love these ones. These literally remind me of when I was a kid. You kind of snap them in half. Let's quickly show you this section, which Graham actually just brought back from kind of like the farmer's market green grocer. He, um, well, you would usually do it on a Wednesday, but obviously it's Friday today and we were on holiday. They actually put by some fruit for us. So we've got apples, pears, bananas, we've got a honeydew melon, some strawberries, grapes, blueberries, and a bag of spinach. So I didn't actually buy any other fruit. Um, so yeah, that's what we got. Okay, and onto everything else. So we've got some waffles, they're frozen. I need to get them in the freezer. Some juice with bits. I still love this and I was drinking it on holiday as well. We've got one of the um, round lettuces, pea shoots, spinach, red leaf salad, and then I've got a big bag of spinach as well. I've got whole leaf kale, uh, I've got some Caesar salad dressing, celery sticks, they, a lot of their fresh stuff they were really low on, seasonal new potatoes, I've got some cress, I was going to do some egg and cress sandwiches. Um, baby plum tomatoes, I've got two lots of those, I absolutely love these at the moment, and I've got two lots of corn on the cob, uh, this is the only cucumber that was left, literally, just grabbed the last one, it's an organic one, it was a pound, um, three for a pound on these veggies, so carrots, broccoli and a swede, i got some uh, mixed peppers, some free range scotch eggs, never had those from here before, but they look really nice, and we're having a lot of salady stuff, barbecue stuff, um, it's a warm weekend, so I just thought it'd be easy as well. Um, two lots of the mini pork pies. Graham and the kids love these. Creamy coleslaw and beetroot twin pack, which is super handy. Some of the snack pork sausages, they're back up to their original price. Usually I've been getting them for a pound, so I only got one pack. Um, and again, they were very low on these as well. They were kind of kept making them to order. Uh, two rice puddings and two fruit cocktails. These were... One, I think they were two for 160 and they were 70p each. And then over here we've got a red Leicester cheese, some olives, I've been loving the green olive stuff with garlic. Uh, this is kind of like self-serve. And then I've got some black olives in there because Violet loves those. Um, some breaded ham and, oh no, two, two lots of breaded ham. You can see that. Right, the brioche was two for two pounds. I got the chocolate chip and the all butter. Some mini white with more wraps. Uh, just the little ones that were good for lunches. Uh, extra tasty, this was four pounds for the cooked chicken. This was the last one and I had to, if I, didn't have, if I wouldn't have got this, I wouldn't have got one because there was 25 minute wait. Um, tiger rolls, I've had these before, they are so good. Um, hot cross buns, two lots of those, two for a pound, one pack will go in the freezer. Again, same with these. These were on offer for £1.25, the Warburton Cinnamon and Raisin Sliced Thins. There's six in a pack. I absolutely love these and I haven't had them in ages and this was the last two packs. One will go in the freezer and these are great for like lunches and mainly breakfast actually. And then last few items, I got ham and pineapple, stone baked pizza, I got a plain cheese and a double pepperoni um so yeah and then we've got the family bramley apple pie this is one of the fresh ones this was the last one and it was all cracked but i just didn't really care it's the last one i thought i'd grab it to have with a little bit of ice cream on the side for a pudding and then i got the oven cleaner uh this is the drain blocker and then also some mini swing 
bin liners as well. So that is my food shop for this week, or at least the bank holiday weekend. Before I pack all this stuff, stuff away, I thought I would tell you a rough idea of a meal plan. So we can have the rotisserie chicken, new potatoes, side salad. For tonight, we're gonna have the pizzas for tomorrow. And then on Sunday, we're gonna have a barbecue. Graham's gonna make some burgers and sausages. We've got the rolls. Um, again, just lots of salady stuff using up the corn. The corn actually we'll probably have with the uh, pizzas. And um, yeah, and whatever's left over, we'll continue to use throughout next week. And I'll probably end up doing another food shop on Wednesday. Um, but I've got loads of meat in the freezer. So that is pretty much meal plan. I don't know, when it gets warm, I feel like I hate like slaving over a hot stove and like cooking lots of really hearty meals. I just want something really light and quick and easy. The kids prefer it as well. I might even do a sausage pasta dish as well. Um, they love a sausage pasta dish and it's so easy as well. It's really super quick. Um, yeah, so that is my uh, meal plan. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're getting up to anything over the bank holiday weekend. We're pretty much staying at home. Obviously we've been away, we're pretty exhausted. I've got so much washing that I've been doing and sorting out, putting everything away. My ironing pile is just getting bigger and bigger as well. So yeah, and also sorting out the garden. That's one thing I've been doing this morning, which is so time consuming, but luckily the weather's so nice. It's just worth it just being out there and just the kids have just been playing and yeah, this weather is incredible. Um, I just love spending time outside. And obviously having a patio furniture to sit on, um, I've had to hose everything down and just be really productive since we got back. So yeah, that's pretty much our weekend. I really hope you have a good one and I will see you all soon.